Hey everybody, it's Alika Lifty, and today let's make our cold brew coffee beans as a cold brew concentrate. This is a really easy recipe to make a cold brew concentrate like we do in our cafes. You can use either this home toddy system, or you can even use a French press, and I'll have some details on that here in just a moment. The best way to make our cold brew beans as a cold brew concentrate is gonna be with this at-home toddy system. This is a really great way you can leave it, make this large amount of concentrate and let it set in your home for up to two months and it's still gonna be fresh, ready for your morning coffee routine. So for a cold brew toddy, first you're gonna make sure to wet the cloth filter insert. So soak that in some water and fit that into place at the bottom of your toddy system. Your rubber cork, be sure to put that at the bottom from the outside of your filter. This ensures that when your coffee is ready to drain, you can uncork it, it'll drain out, instead of you having to reach through because you put that cork in the wrong direction. So, cork in, filter in, now let's talk about our coffee. If you've purchased one of our new 10 ounce boxes, you can grind all of that for this cold brew concentrate. If you have purchased a two pound bag, then go ahead and separate out just one pound of that. What I'm gonna use here today is 10 ounces of my cold brew coffee beans ground coarse. That's also 283 grams if you're measuring it that way and just dump all of that in. This is coarse like I would grind for a French press. Now, while that's ready, I'm gonna pour in about one liter of cold water. I wanna saturate the coffee. I don't wanna pour all of my water here at once, just about a liter. Get some sort of paddle or a spoon, get rid of any clumps, make sure all this coffee is wet so we don't get any dry patches that are just gonna set there for our, our brew time. So I'm using 10 ounces of coffee ground coarse, and I'll be using two liters of water. This is gonna give us about a one to seven ratio. Once that's all that coffee saturated, let's just pour in the rest of our water. That's really all there is to it. In about 30 minutes, a crust is gonna form from coffee that's floated to the top. And you're gonna wanna use that paddle again to push those coffee grounds back underneath the surface so that they're steeping for your entire brew time. When that's finished, you're gonna let this steep for six to 10 hours. You can go up to 24 hours, but with cold brewing, you're not gonna see much noticeable change after only six hours time. So six to 12 hours is a really good time to go ahead and pull that concentrate for you. You can leave it in your fridge. And if you do so, I recommend that 10 hour wait time at least. Otherwise, just set it aside on your counter. Your toddy container has a lid that you can close and put that concentrate in your fridge when you're finished. So when that's drained and you've got your concentrate, you have a lot of different options that we can use this for. The standard that we use in our cafes is three ounces of cold brew concentrate is about the same as two ounces of espresso. So if I wanted to make an iced latte, I'm gonna need three ounces of my concentrate. Pour it in your glass, top off with milk. And here we have an iced latte. If you wanted to make a standard cold brew, same thing. Let's get three ounces of my concentrate and let's dilute that. with some cold water to your desired strength. And we're good to go. 
So six to 10 hours. If you wanted to make this in a French press, you wanna use the same recipe, the same ratio, um, one part coffee to six parts water, usually around 120 grams of coffee to the full, that 32 ounces of your French press. Same thing, let that set for six to 10 hours and you'll be, you'll be all set. All right, everybody, cheers and enjoy.